A man is found dead, fully clothed, kneeling in his own bathtub. The position of the man's body and where he was found is strange enough, but what happened to Christopher Case before his death is stranger still. Hi, I'm Darren Marlar from the Weird Darkness Podcast. On the morning of April 18, 1991, a 35-year-old man named Christopher was found dead in his apartment. No signs of struggle or fight were found, and even no forced entry. His body was discovered in an empty bathtub, fully dressed in a kneeling position, his head resting on the wall. The death of Christopher Case shook the whole of Washington. When police searched his place, they found a lot of candles, crucifixes, books, salt poured on each and every entry of his home, even windows. When the police further investigated, they heard religious music playing in his room, maybe to keep his home safe from supernatural powers. The doctors say he died because of a heart attack. Looking at his place, it doesn't seem like a natural death, though. Everything pointed towards something paranormal. Was it really a heart attack or some supernatural powers which scared him to death? Christopher was a 35-year-old, intelligent, and sophisticated man who grew up in Richmond, Virginia. He was a small-town radio DJ. He was very much passionate about his music, so he decided to move to Seattle, Washington to start a new career as a music executive, and there he worked for Muzak Holdings. Christopher made a lot of new friends in Seattle, but never lost touch with the old ones. He was single for a long time as he was used to traveling a lot because of his work and lived alone. He was a fitness zealot, used to take his vitamin supplements regularly. He didn't have any serious health issues, and he used to exercise regularly. Then what happened which made him do all of this? Why was he so afraid? April 11th, 1991, seven days before his death, he had a meeting in San Francisco with other music executives. He was introduced to an older woman who shared her ancient music interest with him. She seemed interested in him and asked him to take her home. He refused her politely as she was his senior. This rejection made her angry, and she told him something creepy that she was a witch and cursed him that he would die within the week. Christopher didn't take this seriously, he didn't believe in any supernatural things. He went back to his home in Seattle the next morning. After a couple of days, he forgot about the incident. On April 14th, he called his friend Sammy and said he wasn't able to sleep at night because of strange whispers and footsteps like someone was watching him. On April 16th, he called his friend again to tell him how he had got attacked the night before when he was sleeping. He told him that someone was trying to suffocate him by unseen hands. After some time, he also noticed some cuts on his fingers and bloodstains on his bedsheet. In the morning, he went to a religious bookstore and picked a handful of crucifixes. After being asked by the store manager, he told him that he was being attacked by some supernatural powers and the store manager handed him some religious books that might help him. On April 16th in the afternoon, he placed crucifixes all around his home with candles and poured salt on all the entries and also wrote notes on how to overcome supernatural powers that were scattered all over his place. On April 16th in the evening, something strange happened, which is not clear even now, but he was so frightened he left his home to stay in a hotel because of this and he was not able to contact his friends, and Sammy didn't receive any call from Christopher that night. On the morning of April 17th, Sammy got a message from Christopher on the answering machine in which he said that they almost got him and it was his last day on Earth. Not only Sammy, but two other people heard from him that day, a Catholic church priest and the religious bookstore manager. They told him the necessary things, but despite all his efforts, Christopher lost his life on the night of April 17, 1991. Myocarditis was said to be the main cause of Christopher's death, and he was used to taking vitamin supplements, but in further investigation, it was also told that he didn't have any symptoms of myocarditis. 
his friends still believe he died due to the supernatural curse of a witch. I post new episodes of the Weird Darkness podcast seven days a week. You can find it wherever you listen to podcasts.